Let's go to Robert. He's in New Jersey. Uh, Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing, Ian? How you doing, uh, Derek? Hey, good to hear you, Robert. What's on your mind, Robert? Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, bring up uh, an event that we announced today. It was uh, Lemonade Freedom Day. Um, uh, we we created the event last year, and it was uh, a big hit. And uh, we're doing it again, and this time we're going to make it even bigger. Um, we've decided to join forces with the Raw Milk Freedom Riders, um, and we're basically uh, going to be having an event on the Capitol lawn by the uh, uh, reflecting... Uh, uh, pond, or I forget what it's called there, um, over in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, so uh, it, it's going to be uh, a big picnic. We're encouraging families to show up. Um, we want lots of, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun fun, fun day where uh, we're going to be celebrating uh, voluntary exchange and food freedom. So this is a, a family-friendly event. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh uh, that's that's our, our our whole goal in in, in this issue. We want to get uh, families involved. We want to get your uh, you know everyday uh, people who don't normally get involved in in these type of things, and uh, we want to make it a, a fun event for everybody. Robert, stand uh, by. We, Can you stick with us? Talk more about this in a moment. Absolutely. All right, more with Robert here from Jersey talking about Lemonade Freedom Day. It's coming up, and this is not just something going on in D.C. This is nationwide. Uh, so we'll find out how you can get involved, 855-450-FREE, especially if you've got kids. But even if you don't, you can still do this. 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves. This is Free Talk Live. As we go back to Robert in New Jersey, uh, he is with us talking about Lemonade Freedom Day. It's something that kicked off the very first time last year. And, uh, Robert, you're back, and Lemonade Freedom Day is coming back. What's the website again, by the way? LemonadeFreedom.com. Lemonade and, uh, okay. Yeah, LemonadeFreedom.com. And I encourage everybody to visit the site and uh, sign up on the Facebook event page. We have a link there. We also have a, uh, a chip-in page, uh, a donation page uh, to, to, to cover expenses. We're going to be actually doing a lot more than just, uh, you know, setting up a lemonade stand uh this year we're, we're going to have a picnic in the park uh we're going to have a bunch of uh we're going to have a lot of food for everybody we're going to have uh it's going to be good times uh, now is, is any of so, that illegal too uh setting up picnics putting out food i mean i have to ask these days because it seems like they're outlawing almost everything uh in some aspect or another so i mean is that also a disobedient act yeah, you know what? I, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the laws are in that park right there. Gotcha. Uh, uh, we're just going to be a whole bunch, a uh, whole lot of friends uh, joining together, having a good time that day. So, now, this uh, is going to be guess, going on we'll in out. different locations, uh, Lemonade Freedom Day. So, D.C., I imagine you know they're back on board. And how many places did this last year that you knew of? Oh, it was, um, I mean, we had over 2,000 participants from, from what I counted. Um, oh. All over the country, and then that's that's you know uh, organized groups, you know, all the way down to just you know a couple of kids uh, on a street corner selling uh, lemonade, with, you know, in front of their home or something like that. But uh, this this year is uh, you know I'm, I'm still encouraging everybody to go out and uh, sell lemonade, and also with with the uh, addition of the raw milk freedom riders, we're, we're also encouraging the, the 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 selling of raw milk and cookies. Um, and to make the event uh, in D.C., we're, 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 we're basically creating a, a large event in D.C. Uh, we have activists coming from all over the country, uh, raw milk activists, uh, mm-hmm. lemonade activists, uh, basically just, you know, freedom activists. Um, and the night before, on the 17th, which is Friday, we're having a rights workshop as well. So there's going to be speakers there uh, discussing uh, rights. I actually uh, have been in discussion with uh, Bradley Jardis about uh, coming to talk, and uh, while I'm on the phone with uh, you guys, I'd like to see if maybe uh, Derek would like to speak at that event as well. Excellent idea. Wow. It would be an honor. Thank you for asking, Robert. I would be happy to go. Awesome. Fantastic. Robert, that sounds exciting. I'm glad to hear that it's happening again, and I hope that uh, it is mostly unmolested as it was last year. Uh, the only people that I know of that were arrested were non-children. Uh, it was Meg and a couple of other activists. Uh, Meg, who used to be on this radio program, uh, living now down in the uh, the D.C. area. That's right. There were three people who were arrested last time. Now, I, I imagine uh, Robert's probably thought of this, but with the mass numbers um, who are all gathering in one place to be uh, civilly disobedient, uh, I would imagine that would greatly reduce the risk of arrest for any one person. Uh, is, that, is that sort of the idea? 
Yeah, that's the idea. And, and again, you know, I mean, uh, I, I obviously, you know, as as you uh, mentioned, uh, Ian, uh, there's always the possibility of arrest with, you know, any peaceful uh, event these days. Nothing is uh, off limits to, to, to the the, uh, the ludicrous laws that exist. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, it's important to, that people know that, you know, there is the possibility of arrest, but we are... Uh, promoting this as a very peaceful event, and, uh, you know, nobody going into it has to uh, get arrested. It can be um, bailed out. Uh, I mean, they can bail out at any given time. I, for one, have no intentions to get arrested in this event. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what, I, what, it, what it takes to uh, stay away from that. And, you know, I, I'm sure that there are activists who will be willing to be to, to to get arrested, you know, and, and that would be all up to them. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, each person has to determine their own. Uh, well, it's pretty own, unlikely uh, that the cops are just going to roll up on a lemonade stand and move immediately to handcuffing people, especially since they've uh, hopefully learned a lesson. If I'm recalling correctly, weren't the charges dropped on the Lemonade 3 uh, from last year? Yes, they were. Um, it, yeah, uh, it was uh, Meg, Will, and uh, and Kat. And they were all dropped on all three of them. Right. Now, it was a bit of an ordeal. It was kind of a harrowing process. There was a lot of intimidation involved. Uh, so, you know, obviously you're dealing with the state. You never know what they're going to do. But hopefully the park police in, the, in D.C. have learned uh, and they will be aware that this is happening again. And they'll know that they probably shouldn't do things the way they did them last time. And maybe that will result in even less uh, of an, uh, an abusive experience uh, for those people that are engaging in selling lemonade. But generally, the way it works works is the cops will approach a lemonade stand with young people working at it and they will threaten them they will tell them that they'll need some sort of a permit uh, in order to sell and that they need to shut down and usually if you shut down at that point you can avoid uh, being arrested but if you don't shut down then things get interesting and so i guess we'll see what happens and Derek j will be there to cover it uh robert thanks for the call tonight anything else you want to get out um no that's all i just want to also mention that you know that, that, that again this is a uh... A lot more than just myself. There's a lot of people uh, involved in this. There's uh, Eddie Free is assisting as he did last year uh, with the DC event, and uh, uh, Liz Liz Reitig is also uh, going to be. Uh, you know, we're, we're we're also organizing this, and she's she was she's a big activist in uh, in the Raw Milk Freedom Riders, and she. Yeah, I think up, that takes uh, this to a new level because it was the uh, the Raw Milk Freedom Riders that went to DC. I think it was sometime either early this year or late last year. Uh, where they kind of made a pilgrimage to uh, to D.C. and um, and essentially, I think bought and sold raw milk openly, and they uh, you know were not arrested for it. Uh, they I guess they yeah. well, they carried it, no, they carried it across state lines, if I'm not mistaken, which is like a federal crime or something like that, right? A- actually, and yeah, they also um, they also brought a cow there to the to the Capitol lawn, <laughs> which was grazing on the Capitol, and they milked the cow there and 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 distributed uh, uh, raw milk from the cow. So wow. that was. Doesn't get much more raw than that. Robert, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you.